Hello everyone, the warm-up channel is with you and today we will talk about the situation at the front and what changes have occurred over the past day. And let's as always start with the losses that the Russian army suffered over the past day. Russia lost 320 liquidated personnel, 8 tanks, 12 armored personnel vehicle, 10 artillery system, 1 MLRS, 1 anti-aircraft, 17 UAV, 10 vehicles and full tanks and 1 special equipment. Very good result for Ukrainian army. In the south direction the enemy is defending previously occupied lines and positions, fires at objects of military and civilian infrastructure, areas of more than 35 settlements along the contact line were damaged by fire. According to the specified information, the result of damage to enemy units have been confirmed. More than 40 enemies were injured in the Militopol settlement here of the Zaporizhia region and as a result of point-blank artillery strikes by the defense forces an ammunition depot was destroyed in Berdyansk. It's here. Up uh, to 30 invaders were wounded in the village of Voskresenka here and up to 25 founded in Vasilivka. The number of dead which the enemies are trying to hide is being clarified. In Kherson, uh, the enemies are forced to involve Russian guard units in the engineering equipment of positions around the city of Kherson. At the same time, measures are being taken uh, to deport collaborators and their families to the territory of the temporarily occupied territory of the Republic of Crimea here. It is that the Russian High Command is starting a mass evacuation of its supporters from Kherson, which indicates that Kherson will soon be liberated by Ukrainian troops. We really hope that uh, this will be the case in the near future, but on the other sectors of the front there is a lull without changes. Thank you all for your attention and see you tomorrow.